Hi, everybody. Tripping sister here. Long time no see. I know, but here we are. See? Anyhow, <laughs> we want to catch you guys up on what we've been doing with me and Mr. Viking have been doing or are about to do since spring is right around the corner. We wanted to show you um, what our plan is since we're going to be here for a while. And no, we haven't heard anything from back from immigration. So we're just kind of sitting here planning our next trip here in the States too, just trying to think of, well, where do we want to go while we're waiting? Anyhow, we gonna, we're going to um, grow our garden this year. We're going to, this is our first attempt at trying to have a garden in Oklahoma in the heat and all that. So this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to show you what Mr. Mr. Viking is doing um, right now, what he's going to try to do. Sitting in your pajamas at home on a rainy day? Well, uh, I ran across an interesting YouTube video some time ago about a fellow, and he mentioned grow bags. Now, I'd never heard about grow bags, although we had grown a garden in the past, and I wondered, what are these grow bags? So I did a little uh, investigation, and it turns out you can buy them right off Amazon, just like everything else, and it also turns out you can make your own. <laughs> Who would have thought that such things were possible? So I ran out. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> so I ran on out to Home Depot and I got myself a roll of landscape fabric. Now this is the 15-year landscape fabric. Don't use the cheap stuff. Spend the extra couple bucks. And then what you do is you cut yourself some pieces of landscape fabric thusly, and then you put them into your little handy dandy thingamajigger here. And if all goes well. You come out, now keep in mind, this is my first attempt. You come out with something like this, into which you put dirt and seed, and then the plants grow out of it. Now, supposedly, by using this method, you end up with 180 to 200% of the normal yield, because this allows air and, and heat to get into the roots of the plant, uh, and it also allows the water to permeate, so you don't end up with soggy roots. Nobody wants soggy roots. Anyway, this is my first attempt, and it does look like the dog's breakfast, but I'm almost sure that that will hold dirt and seed or potatoes or whatever. And uh, come the fall, we'll be harvesting a fine crop of vegetables. This is my point. This is my plan. We'll have to see how it works out along the way. Thank you very much for coming along with us, and by all means, keep, keep tripping. tripping.